Hello everyone, what? Mm. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable video. You guys want to know a fun fact? So right now I'm actually sitting in my bed, and that is definitely not because Milo is sitting in my desk chair, and that I have to charge the iPhone whilst I use it. Um, no, that's not the reason at all. I mean, it kind of works out for this type of video though. Like, where else are you going to be using Star Stable Mobile? Either your bed or like out and about. And I don't know about you, but when I'm outside, I'm not playing Star Stable. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty against doing work in my bed, but um, for the said reasons above, I decided that today was an exception. So today I have some super exciting news. If you have not seen before, then uh, I have had access to Star Stable Mobile for a while now, but I thought that we would jump back on it today because it has been released in some more countries, which is pretty awesome. And I want to check out if they've fixed any of the major bugs that I've experienced over my time of beta testing and soft launching. Because unfortunately, there's just been a few bugs which have been there throughout the entire time. And um, yeah, we'll get more into it once we get into the iPhone. But I'm going to show you guys how to download it and everything. But yeah, let's just get started. I went through so much struggle to open up my Star Stable game for me not... Like, I don't even need to be here. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so to download Star Stable Mobile, all we have to do is go to our app store and we get to search up Star Stable. And luckily, like, Star Stable is moving up in the world. It is coming up in the recommended, which is pretty awesome. You then will have, well, apparently there's an ad for Horse Academy. But then you will have Star Stable Horses right here and you guys will be chosen to download the game. Did I even mention the countries that it was being released for? Did I literally forget the most important part? That that just sounds like a me thing to do. Please excuse me. I have had a tiring time at school. Okay, well, um, it is released for the countries of New Zealand and Canada, which is pretty awesome. You know, New Zealand's my buddy. Um my australia best friend just across the seas we did have a travel travel bu uh, <laughs> a travel bubble but uh some states had to go and get rid of that one but anyways so let's have a look i probably haven't played this game since it was released for soft launching so i don't know how long that was for Considering, so I'm gonna read all of these because I just started watching reading this one and it sounds pretty awesome. Considering this app is fairly new, you can compare it to a fall. In this version, we have to we have focused on making sure those wobbly legs are more stable. Bug fixes. We've improved its ability to commu communicate if it's not feeling well. Improved error messages and made it possible for it to nay to greet you push messaging, which is pretty awesome. Then they just talk about the ad, the not ads, the updates have fixed a few more bug fixes. Fixes. And then finally, we have uh, new in this version, we have localized the app and now support 14 languages. We have added means for crisis communications so we can reach you with important messages. The app has been optimized to support iPad. The American Paint Horse is now available for purchase in the game, blah, 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 blah. An important bug fix for this version. I actually find that really interesting because I'm not sure if Star Stable 100% supports iPad now or not. I'm going to guess that it might be better, but I'm definitely going to have to look at the FAQ whilst I'm editing this video and I'll probably jump in a clip right here. Okay, this is going to be a very important part for the video and it is answering some frequently asked questions that I get that Star Stable has actually talked about themselves. The reason I say this is really important is because I'm not going to be responding to comments that ask questions that I've covered in the video just because it takes a lot longer than you think to go through hundreds of comments a day and writing out this information I'm going to be telling you in a comment multiple times when I've already made a video about it which you have just commented underneath is not helpful for me time wise and comment wise and things like that so if you want to skip through this section I will have some links in the description with all the different parts of the video but let's move into it why is the game iOS only will there be an Android version developing for iOS and Android is slightly different due to technical 
technical reasons, they will start with Apple first and they cannot say for sure when it is going to make it to the Android versions. This is because iOS is of course just iOS whereas Android has all of their different Android versions and then there's a bunch of different phones as well. It's a lot harder to make phone apps for Android rather than them focusing on iOS, especially with something as big as Star Stable. Can computer players and mobile players play together? Yes, they can. Star Stable Online is going cross-platform, which is absolutely crazy. This is such a massive thing. Like, I'm so proud of Star Stable. Will Star Stable work on the iPad? Here we go. Yes, we have optimized the iPad version so the game should now work perfectly on iPads, which is so awesome because at the start we were not sure if they were ever going to like optimize it soon for iPads and it is so good that before the final release they were able to optimize it for the iPad. So for the final release there is no fear about that now. Unfortunately, you know, I bought an iPhone for these videos. I'm not going to buy an iPad for you guys. Very sorry, but financially, not gonna work out. <laughs> what type of phone do I need to play Star Stable Mobile? You'll need an iPhone 6S or newer running iOS 14.0 or newer. I'm gonna talk about this later in the video, but there's just a few things which I find aren't that compatible with the mobile right now and I don't know if it's just because of the phone that I have for this purpose and whether it's better on say the iPhone 12 but since they're advertising it for iPhone 6s or newer I see no reason why it shouldn't work in a playable extent for me on the phone that I'm using you guys will see more about that later on in this video but it's pretty massive in my opinion it's something that definitely makes me not enjoy the mobile that much <laughs> Here we just have some technical stuff, app gets stuck when trying to relaunch, uh, every time you launch the app it will patch together all the content and updates automatically, if it happens to you try to uninstall, delete the app and then reinstall it again and I definitely recommend this, if you have any trouble just try reinstalling the app completely, deleting it from your device and reinstalling it. Definitely just, you know, take the whole turn it on and off again thing and uninstall and reinstall and then go to start stable and report your issue. Since this game is still in development and in soft launching, they might not have a solution, but you telling them your problem will help them find a solution quicker. Give them as much information as you can. I cannot stress that enough. Star Stable for mobile does not require players to manual up manually update the game every the app every Wednesday. However, you will need to update the app manually via the App Store every two weeks, which I did have to do before the filming of this video in my preparation. I did have to reinstall everything and download all the updates as well. If you're getting an error message when you're trying to log in, it's probably because you're trying to cheat the system and uh don't recommend cheating the system, you guys. Just the system is there for a reason. <laughs> and reporting plays and bugs is the exact same thing. Anyways, if you guys have any other questions, there is a section on the Star Stable help page all about Star Stable for mobile. So if I didn't cover anything, go check this out. Otherwise, you can leave a comment. But once again, if it is something that I have covered in this video at all, then I probably will not have time to write you an essay. Right, back to the fun stuff. But yeah, once you've downloaded it, let's just get into Star Stable and hopefully it will have uh, fixed itself up a little bit. So the good thing that I find about the app is that it does keep you logged in, which I love because I hate typing in my passwords and stuff on a landscape phone screen, but... It does mean that you kind of lose a little bit of security. So if you don't have a password on your phone and you have downloaded the Star Stable app, just make sure to, I think there's a log out button. So if you click the log out button, then you'll be safe. But I obviously have a password on my phone. But if you ever lose your phone, this iPhone also doesn't leave my house because it's I purely own this iPhone for Star Stable. You are welcome. <laughs> But if someone does pick up your iPhone and they manage to get into it, they also have access to your Star Stable account now and there is no knowing what people are going to do. Even if they don't know what Star Stable is, some people just are there to ruin your life and it's not fun. So just be secure with the fact that Star Stable does just keep you logged in all of the time. 
So let's go ahead and click the play button and we will get started. I hope I'm still recording. I don't know how to iPhone. So some important things to note about the phone that I am using. I am using the iPhone 8, which I don't consider a super duper old phone, but obviously it is a little bit older. But I know that a lot of people around Star Stable's demographic actually have the iPhone 8 and iPhones kind of like that. So I for one, since this is my secondary phone, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it which is why I got the iPhone 8 and it's refurbished, so it is a little bit older, but I feel like that's a good test, you know? It's a good te test towards uh, what Star Stable is capable of. So here we are in the game. It actually loaded up super duper quickly, which is always very, very nice. So now we also have access to the global store now, and you have the same global store glitches that they always have on the... Uh, computer as well like some user interface icons missing scrolling is a little bit hard which I mentioned when they first released the global store but you get used to it anyways uh, I definitely want to go to the home stable because the home stable is something that I have had a lot of trouble with let's see if it's gonna let me into the home stable yeah look I love star stable but that's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> the good thing with Star Stable, though, is I don't have to log in. It automatically logs me in. So it's pretty fast to reopen the game. It's just not ideal to enter my home stable and crash. You know, not even enter. <laughs> I Obviously, I am not a game designer so i wouldn't know how to fix this problem it's just kind of disappointing that it's still not fixed yet and they haven't said anything about it but this game is still in soft launching as well so they are still fixing up some errors it's just really annoying to me that i can never enter the home stable because there's a lot of important stuff in the home stable right <laughs> I am also going to see if I can jump into the uh, can Canada. Why was I going to say it like that? I also just rubbed my eye and I'm wearing mascara. To the Canada servers. I'm not sure because Canada has access. Oh my gosh, we made it. Canada has access to all of the American servers. So I'm hoping my American account will just work. Here you guys can see that we can access the chat as well. And we can make it go away somehow. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Um, there we go. So we also have this button here which opens up our horses and let me tell you when this is small I mean, it's small, but it's all right if you know the, if You know the pictures or something one one other thing which is super annoying to me is this I Cannot see my outfit and you can't even see it looks so messy in this cut mode. Oh my gosh the memories now, I'm in a fortunate place where I don't have to rely on Star Stable Mobile to play the game. What do these buttons do down here? Oh, they open different stuff. Oh, those are handy buttons. We should get them on, um, on the computer. Oh, those are handy buttons. Anyways, I am grateful that I don't have to rely on having an iPhone to be able to even play Star Stable, which is why I'm not too disappointed that I can't see anything but to me this does just seem like something which is a problem <laughs> if you want to play star stable I don't know what this is like on other screens as well it might be just because the iPhone 8 is a lower screen resolution but I don't think it's even a lower screen res resolution I don't even know how these things work anyways uh, but other than that everything works like let's see does have they fixed this error okay this seems to be working, but it wasn't broken all the time either, so it might not be fixed yet. But it is- oh, no, it's broken. It's broken. You can't control my character anymore. Can I at least try to- I think I'm stuck. You guys, I'm stuck! I do want to quickly talk about this because I do go on to try and see if this is an error which happens outside of the home stable which I can't like it works for me outside of the home stable but after re reading a review of the game on the app store I saw someone say that they had this same error whilst they were in a quest and they had to call for pickup to be able to fix themselves so it is kind of temperamental but I find it a lot worse in the home stable that I can usually rarely run around in the home stable. Maybe we'll be able to get on Glacier. No, I can't do it. I'm too far away. I'm actually stuck. Okay, 
Um, I can't turn side to side. This is what happens in the home stable. For some reason, let's return to entrance. Okay, thank gosh. Buy some stable care whilst we're at it for no particular reason. I just want to see a number one there. <laughs> I want to go outside and see whether it's going to do the same thing when I'm outside, but as far as I've tested, I only have a problem with dismounting when I'm inside the home stable, which is just super duper weird. Oh no, I've accidentally pressed the uh, spin button. At least that's quite a short animation. But let's try and trailer somewhere else, see if that's going to work. Let's head to, should we go to Steve's farm? Test it out with people. This actually works really good with people around, but the thing with people is it isn't just dependent on your phone or your computer. It's also dependent on your internet. A lot of the time, your lag when you're in a crowded area actually comes from latency lag on, okay, well, um, that was fun. Latency lag on your internet connection. Okay, the one thing with sitting on my bed and doing this is I have pins and needles in my foot. This does indeed- okay, I felt a little bit of lag. Oh, I clicked the wrong button again. I didn't mean to click that. Okay, I wanted to dismount and just see- Let me just leave my horse there. I want to be that annoying person who leaves their horse and then everyone has to wonder why is there a random horse. See, so far, it really seems like it's just a problem of- uh, the home stable and if the home stable closet had something like this or even global store i think that would be such a better way of doing it i literally can't see what clothes i'm picking and things like that and it's just not ideal it's just not ideal at all let's look at the new oh yeah so this looks same same oh wait wait, wait, wait. i want to go to the ocean do we have graphic settings here options be careful not to click the uh quit button so you can become a wild horse you can't choose any um you can't choose any graphical settings but i want to see if they've added reflections i don't think they'll have changed the water for some reason i just feel like maybe they haven't it didn't say anything on the change log but we will have to go have a look see honestly if this is the only version of star stable no, that's not what I don't want to do. If this is the only version of Star Stable you can play on, it is playable. The one thing that I don't think is playable at all for me is changing outfits, but it might be different on different phones. If you've played Star Stable Mobile, let me know in the comments. I feel like if you've played Star Stable Mobile, though, you might not be watching this video. But other than that, the game crashing every once in a while, you load up so fast getting back in the game you can hang out with friends you can chat and that's just what you'll be used to as for me i'm used to something different yeah so the graphical settings haven't changed you still have the old water and there's actually i had some people asking in the comment sections of one of my last videos do we even i don't think we even have shadows on the map so yeah we don't have shadows either but people were asking me but how do you take photos and unfortunately photo mode is not a thing that they have added in yet it's about you know they'll have to figure out what things are more important what things are least important and things like reflections and stuff isn't on their list of important stuff and you don't need to have the same graphics as the computer game to play interchangeable which is why they can afford to like not do that for the time being i'm sure they plan on adding it it's just a should we work on adding this i don't know okay it's really hard to explain but i actually want to jump over into another account um if you're wondering how the map works as well you can't actually zoom in but you can move around it i wish you could zoom in like i just want to zoom in but i am gonna quit the game and log in with a second account okay so unsupported country that's interesting. So maybe they like know that my my account was made in America and not Canada. So I guess I can't use that even though it's from Canada's servers. Now, I don't recommend you guys trying to break the system because the system is there for a reason. All right, so I'm gonna do some training with you guys to show you how that works whilst talking just about a few things. 
going off of that i don't think that you should be trying to trick the system because obviously the system is there for a reason soft launching is seriously done for a reason it is not meant to be unfair it is not meant to be a oh we'll favor australia over the rest of the world we'll favor canada over america things like that it's purely there so they can deliver you guys the best product that they can and unfortunately that does mean making it a narrower audience to test out the game before they release it to everyone and obviously America is a massive massive place with probably a majority of their players coming from America I'd probably guess wow okay that was probably user error nothing to do with the game but so they're gonna try and you know just make it the best that they can and don't you want to play a game that actually works rather than a buggy game which isn't fun to play i don't know it's every single um i'm really good at races every single game would go through the soft launching phase so yeah there's just that to think of now i don't really know what i want to do on the mobile because as i said it's seriously pretty similar to playing any other game um to what am i trying to say the mobile uses a lot of focus okay i'm not a mobile game player the mobile game is basically the exact same as the pc game now i know that a lot of you guys were like super excited for mobile videos and these ones have done rather rather well you know my testing out the mobile for the first time but you guys haven't been that interested in seeing what else goes into the mobile and i was just wondering if that's because the mobile is literally the same as the pc game why do the graphics look so weird there no i'm gonna fall off a cliff oh gosh everything's gone wrong okay okay the good thing though is I haven't managed to change the camera perspective yet, which I accidentally do sometimes. If I click the right spot on the screen whilst I'm riding the horse around, it'll change the camera perspective. It feels like the buttons are actually smaller than when I first player tested this game. But I don't know, I don't play it on a regular basis, so I can't remember. I seriously don't know what else to say. Look. It's, it's been a decent game from the first time I picked it up as a beta. It definitely crashes a lot less now. When I first started beta testing it, it was crashing every couple of minutes, even seconds sometimes. Whereas now it only seems to crash when I'm reloading new things such as, uh, you know, the home stable is pretty, it's a very common crashing thing for me is to crash going into the home stable. Otherwise, trailering has also gotten better as well. But other than that, it's been a decent game from the start. So I don't actually know what bug fixes they're fixing, I'm gonna be honest. But because I don't play it all the time, I probably don't find all the bugs anyways. I don't know, what are some funny bugs that you guys might have found in the mobile? I feel like the people here... Have I already said this? I can't remember what I've already said, but I feel like the people watching aren't gonna be the people... Who have played mobile i'm not sure i love how the chat bubble here is actually see-through and i meant to run into the sheep i wanted to see if it was still like um a solid sheep when you're on the mobile as well but it's nice to see that they keep updated with all the new stuff as well oh my gosh i just realized something so people have been saying star stable has small updates and it hasn't happened recently actually it happened maybe like two months ago but one thing that i do worry with star stable mobile is there might be certain features that they can't add because they can't add it to the mobile and the thing with having a mobile game which has servers which are directly compatible with laptop is you have to make sure the mobile has everything required to run the server side application of the computer so if on mobile they struggle with some sort of animation coding of new horses, I just don't want that to delay the release of new horses on the computer. That's just a, an example. So obviously certain things like photo mode, oh no, I was clicking the button but I wasn't clicking the, oh my gosh, okay. Certain things like the photo mode, which isn't server side, Obviously, the mobile will work fine without it. I don't know. 
did that race change? I feel like everything looks, oops, I did not mean to click that button. Looks different when you're on mobile. Anyways, if you do want to see some more mobile videos, I will be making a playlist of all of the mobile videos I have done. This involves, uh, I think I've done championships on mobile to see how well that goes. I've done races. What, what, ha what else have I done on mobile? Oh yeah, I've done dressage and things like that. So yeah, just let me know what else you want to see on the mobile if there's anything else you're interested in. But I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm, unfortunately, I can't get rid of the user interface for you. But yeah, in general, the mobile is still doing super well. They still have the same glitches, which I was not excited about the last time I played the game. But I'm sure they're hopefully working on that. I don't know, but I'm super excited that more of you guys are going to be able to play the game. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to pick yourself up your iPhone and play Star Stable on mobile. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video and you are still watching, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because those are both free ways of supporting me. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye! Thank you.